okay so good morning all of you today is your first class on cs1 actuarial statistics so i hope so uh, many of you have previously studied for one or more exams now in cs1 you will be taught all the statistics from the scratch only okay like we'll study basic probability random variable distributions generating function now cs1 is the most easiest paper like in terms of difficulty if you rank among 13 exams it is the most easiest paper to study and clear the approx duration of study will be 2 months okay so we are starting may 1st week will end by july 1st week okay class schedule is given 99% the classes will be held as per that but sometimes we might take some extra class or we might take some off okay <clears throat> now in this paper for the first time you are introduced to r programming so if you go for a job okay whatever we are doing in paper a is relevant but in coding whatever things you are doing it is more relevant so we need to do paper a and b side by side and we have tried to put in class timings so that you don't need to travel much or you don't need to sit for classes it's like paper a then paper b okay so once you are coming for physical class or maybe live online class you have little bit of break those who are doing from home <coughs> they can uh, have their lunch in between and those who are doing from center uh, they can basically carry their tiffin with them okay now in cs1 i'll tell you some of the major reasons for failure one of the major reason for failure is the paper is very easy okay and the students after maybe one month they realize that the paper is very easy so they stop doing it nahi karte wo log theek hai they don't do it and they think that yes if we study 2 hours every day it is sufficient but it is a paper in which you don't have time constraint time aap log ko kam nahi lagega you don't have time constraint now if you know the paper you will be able to complete the paper in 2 or 30 minutes or maybe 2 or 45 minutes you'll get time for revision but if you don't know any question even if you take 5 hours 6 hours you'll not be able to crack it it is the whole thing is you need to crack that question in exam in the exam mindset and that is why you need to give ample mocks you know <clears throat> we take mock examinations but very few participate in that i am very happy that you all have realized that we should start for the examination it's a very good thing but you should continue coming in physical classes live online classes okay and don't try to be ahead of me try to be with me okay don't come and ask me after 15 days mera ye ho gaya aage kya kare no mere saath saath chaliye okay be with me and whatever you are practicing you need to revise the content also like whatever i am teaching you all you need to revise the content on a daily basis i'll be giving you all assignments we need to solve all the material questions we need to solve the whole of compiler we will be solving some difficult iii questions because there is a particular section like starting from generating function and joint distributions in which the institute is asking very difficult questions okay generating function is there joint distribution is there conditional expectation is there central limit theorem is there sampling is there so in these chapters there is a trend of difficult questions from ifo ia is already difficult okay so i don't think that passing cs1 will be a, a big task being very honest but yes the paper difficulty has gone up okay so we need to practice everything and the better you practice cs1 the more help you will get in subjects like cm2 and cs2 okay so like you will feel light when you study for cs2 because you'll have a good hold of r you will have a good hold of statistics okay so and by the time your results come uh, come out in the month of july for those who have given any examination cm1 uh, they can also take one lighter paper if they feel ki ha aapka paper bhi ho gaya hai and uh, you are confident in cs1 also okay so please put the heading 
we'll start with <coughs> the topic random variable we will start with the topic random variable okay so we are going to start with the topic random variable just in case if i go out like i am not visible to the online students or my voice is not audible you all can please switch on your mic and speak okay okay now to start with what is a variable what is a variable what is a variable jiska value vary karta hai like it can take any value for example x plus y is 10 so this means what if x is taking the value 1 y will take the value 9 if x is taking the value 2 y will take the value 8 and so on now why they have used the term random because when we are associating variables with probability okay when we are associating the variables with probability then it becomes a random variable okay like just uh, for an example if you throw hmm daya baya piche aage nahi dekho mere to dekho if it will be very difficult to focus in physical class after 2 years so let's say suppose you are throwing a die the numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 6 so they each can occur with a probability of 1 by 6 so it will take the value 1 with how much probability so it will take the value 1 with how much probability the answer is 1 by 6 it will take the value 2 with how much probability the answer is 1 by 6 so basically the random variable x like let's say suppose x is defined as the value which the die is taking okay x is being defined as the value which the die is taking so x will take the value 1 x will take the value 2 x will take the value 3 x will take the value 6 it is not making any sense but x will take the value 1 with how much probability now things are making sense so when we are associating variables with probability it is called random variable so basically what is a random variable it takes the help of probabilities to decide upon its value so x will take the value 2 with how much probability the answer is 1 by 6 s will take the value 4 with how much probability 1 by 6 so we are associating what probabilities okay so the random variable it takes the help of probabilities to decide upon its value okay now see in statistics like our work doesn't stop here so basically <coughs> what we are doing here is x is defined as let's say suppose one more example tossing two coins okay so what will be the sample space sample space is the set of all possible outcomes sample space is the set of all possible outcomes so here the sample space will be what if we toss two coins we can get two heads then head tail then tail head and then tail tails is there any other outcome which can come the answer is no so there are four possible outcomes head 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 tail tail head tail tail tell me can we use this for statistical results the answer is no can we calculate mean can we calculate variance no nothing we can do so now we will be taking the help of random variable to associate numbers how can we do that let x is defined as number of heads so now x can take the value 0 1 and 2 why 0 is associated with the case when both are tails 1 is associated with the case head tail tail head and 2 is associated with the case two heads so we have taken the help of random variable which is x to associate numbers with the sample space so if random variable is not there then can we associate numbers the answer is no we have defined x as a defined key 
such that we can associate numbers with each element of the sample space. So there are four elements. There are four elements. Star element hai. So zero is associated with the case. What? Tail tail. Because the number of heads is zero. One tail head, head tail. Two head head. So we have taken the help of random variable to associate numbers. Definition data round. Okay. We have taken the help of random variable to associate numbers with each element of the and it takes the help of what? Probability to decide upon its value. X will take the value 0. What is this? No. X will take the value 0 with how much intensity, with how much probability. X will take the value 1 with how much, X will take the value 2 with how much probability. So now we can obtain a distribution of results. It is known as probability distribution function. X will take the value 0 with the probability 1 by 4. Why? 1 out of 4 outcomes. What is probability? Favorable number of cases by total number of cases. Favorable number of cases by total number of cases. So favorable is what? 1 out of 4. So 1 by 4. X will take the value 1 with how much probability? Half. 2 by 4. Favorable cases is what? 2 head tail tail head divided by total number of cases. Hindi mein bole to jo chahiye wo upar total wo niche. Clear? Favorables means what? Jo chahiye. Total means what? Kya kya hai? So favorable number of cases by total number of cases. Okay? So now we will be obtaining a distribution. This is x which is the random variable. It can take the value 0, 1 and 2. And this is probability capital X is equal to small x. What is this small x? It is a dummy variable. Don't copy. It is a dummy variable. What do you mean by dummy variable? What do you mean by dummy variable? Dummy variable is nothing but basically it is a general term. It is a general term for 0, 1 and 2. It can also be small t, small a, anything. Small s. Don't confuse. Capital X hai to small x yoga. Nahi, aisa koi baat nahi hai. Thik hai? So 0 hone se 1 by 4. Yes. 1 hone se and 2 so now we have obtained a distribution of probability. It is known as probability distribution function. Why? Because here we have distributed the probabilities. And the total probability is always 1. Total probability is always 1. Probability can take the value between 0 and 1. Can probability exceed 1? Okay. Throwing a die and getting the number 7. It is an impossible event. Throwing a die and getting a number between 1 to 6, discrete like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is a sure event. Okay. What is sample space? What is sample space? It is the set of all possible outcomes. What is the event? What is the event? Event is a subset of sample space. How? What are events? What are events? It is a subset of sample space. Don't copy now anything. I will dictate everything. Subset of sample space. How? Let A be the event of throwing a die and getting even number. Then A will be what? 2, 4, 6. And in sample space, throwing a die, what all will be the numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is a subset. So events are subset of sample space always denoted by capital letters. So what is the probability of event A? 3 out of 6. The answer is half. So throwing a die and getting an odd number half. Throwing a die and getting an even number half. Total probability 1. Okay. Clear? Okay. What are equally likely events? Just keep listening. Sunte jau. What are equally likely events? Probability is same of all the events. Okay, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we get equal probability. 1 by 6, 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 1 by 6. One by six. Okay. What is a mutually exclusive event? Tell me. What is a mutually exclusive event?
yes ronit if a and b are two events please come again if a occurs then b cannot occur okay give me an example tossing of a coin excellent you toss the coin either you will get heads or you will get tails can they both occur simultaneously the answer is no but let's say suppose you are hungry you can eat chips you can eat cold drinks both simultaneously so these are not mutually exclusive events okay so if there are two events a and b either a will occur or b will occur they both cannot occur simultaneously this is mutually exclusive event what is exhaustive what is exhaustive events when we market ourselves we say our coverage is exhaustive this means what we cover all the things so let's say suppose if there are three events there is no other event which is possible other than these three events there is no other event which is possible other than these three events it is known as exhaustiveness so the total probability will be what one i am not commenting on whether a or b can occur simultaneously or not b or c can occur simultaneously or not a or c can occur simultaneously or not i am just saying that no other event will occur other than these three events so the total probability will be one there are two things one is union and the other is intersection what is a union when i use the words either or when i use the words either or what is intersection when i use and this and this ye and ye this or this okay this or this so basically when i use the words union this means what either or either a or b and and means what dono okay so in set theory if you see probability of a union b is what pa plus pb minus p a intersection b probability a intersection b this means what pa into pb if if independent events don't copy anything now now by venn diagram i'll show you this is a and this is b okay so in a we are covering this in b we are covering this so basically this is the region which is covered twice so that is why we are subtracting the common part the intersection part this region is called okay and this whole part this whole part is called what very good clear basic probability so now tell me what is mutually exclusive if a will occur then b will not occur this means what they both cannot occur simultaneously this means what the intersection part is zero this means what probability a probability a intersection b is what zero in mutually exclusive events can both the events occur simultaneously the answer is no so probability a intersection b is zero okay first thing is this if i say exhaustive so either a will occur or b will occur is there any other event which can occur the answer is no this means what in exhaustiveness we can say probability a union b is what one it might be possible that a and b both might occur 
which is covered by this part but there is no other event c or maybe d which can occur except a and b okay so a union b is one and when i say mutually exclusive and exhaustive this means what probability a union b is one and pa plus pb is what one clear because why sanchi why where is a intersection b part ha huh. where is that dhyan se suno probability a intersection b is zero okay so probability a intersection b is zero when we say mutually exclusiveness theek hai okay so these are ekdam basic what is event so three things equally likely means all the events have equal equal chance of occurring equally equally likely mutually exclusive means what like for example throwing a die all the events are what mutually exclusive if one will occur two cannot occur if two will occur three cannot occur but if there are six events 1 2 3 4 5 6 there is no other event which can occur except these so all the intersection part is zero because they all are mutually exclusive events one or two cannot occur simultaneously the intersection part is zero and there is no other event or koi event nahi hai jo inke alawa inke alawa ho sakta hai okay okay <clears throat> now a union b so through venn diagram if we see this common part this common part is covered twice right so that is why we are subtracting it once a intersection b means what dono ka part dono ka jo intersection wala part hai means that region in which a will also occur and b will also occur what is a complement for example if there is only one event just uh, one thing what is a complement this means what not a basically not a if we draw a venn diagram so if this is a basically this part clear yes or no yes or no basically this part okay okay so what can i say about probability of a complement 1 minus pa if there is only One event A. Okay. Now, basic to ho gaya. Okay. So, why are we using random variable? Mean, random variable use kyu kar rahe hain? Why are we using random variable? Because we are associating numbers. By associating numbers, uh, we are able to make a distribution. We are able to obtain a probability distribution function. and in the coming classes we'll see that through this probability distribution we are able to obtain mean which is expectation variance and then we will be using it for higher results as well okay so we are able to associate numbers with each element of the sample space and sample space is what is the set of all possible outcomes okay and we take the help of probability to decide upon the value of random variable like random variable will take the value 1 with probability 2 by 4 which is half okay clear okay okay so now <clears throat> write down and first i will teach uska notes dictation chalega theek hai ab likho is it okay adit mittal jinisha ओके फर्स्ट राइट डाउन सैंपल स्पेस सेट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स सेट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स बी फास्ट सेट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स रिलेटेड टू अ रैंडम एक्सपेरिमेंट सेट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स related to a random experiment 
इवेंट्स सबसेट ऑफ सैंपल स्पेस सबसेट ऑफ सैंपल स्पेस सबसेट ऑफ सैंपल स्पेस सो नाउ एग्जाम्पल इफ वी आर थ्रोइंग अ डाय ठीक है थ्रोइंग अ डाय तो सैंपल स्पेस विल बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड लेट ए बी द इवेंट ऑफ एन इवेंट नंबर तो ए विल बी टू फोर सिक्स ओके ओके रिटर्न नेक्स्ट probability of event a is equal to favorable number of outcomes divided by total number of outcomes probability will always lie between 0 and 1 probability of a sure event is 1 impossible event is 0 ओके नेक्स्ट प्रोबेबिलिटी ए यूनियन बी पी ए प्लस पी बी माइनस पी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी probability a intersection b this means and so this is equal to pa into pb if events are independent next write down mutually exclusive events if there are two events a and b either a will occur or b will occur they both 
कैन नॉट ऑकर साइमल्टेनियसली दे बोथ कैन नॉट ऑकर साइमल्टेनियसली तो पी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी विल बी जीरो now from this attempt you all must have got the mock portal details okay you all can log in i'll tell you when to uh, start giving mocks okay just log in and have access to the mock portal so all the chapter wise mock test will be uploaded in the portal only first thing is this and the next thing is apart from compiler we'll be giving you handouts uh, in which we are having selected material questions and other questions as well so you all don't need to refer to the institute material much like all the important questions from the material are taken and compiled in our sheet so we'll be giving you that okay so probability a intersection b is zero okay next exhaustive so basically if there are two events probability a union b will be what one clear now mutually exclusive and exhaustive mutually exclusive and exhaustive so this means what pa plus pb is equal to 1 clear yes or no sahil jindal agar koi 2 mahina ragad ke pad liya na itna confidence aa jayega na andar mein jisko hisab nahi hai and trust me matlab uh, previously the scenario was ki uh students they used to feel very good that yes we have cleared cs1 they used to post stories on instagram facebook linkedin first step to success it's good but according to me aisa kuch baat nahi hai matlab it's just like clearing a normal paper matlab it's okay i don't see any great thing in that if you're clearing uh studying for 6 months and then you're clearing one or two exams now i'm giving you my word now you all are already studying right from your batch it will take roughly 4.5 years to complete the whole course to complete the whole course now we have started training for cp1 as well so it will not be much of a big pain to become an associate okay that means the first 10 exams and in the next 6 months we'll be launching training for sp level papers as well so previously due to lack of coaching or maybe awareness or maybe resources students they used to feel a little bit of burden to complete the higher order papers but if you see nowadays the students they are clearing uh, the first 7 to 8 exams in their college only we have students those who have cleared uh, in the second year by the by the end of fourth semester they are done with cm1 cm2 cs1 cs2 cb1 cb2 and now they are preparing for cp level papers so it's not much big of a task nowadays yes the course is good but you should realize that it is just a part of the course it is not so i don't think there is a need of much of a break or maybe that uh, you have done something really extraordinary so that you need a break of 2 months of time so i see some of the students they say me uh, that we need a break of 3 months humko 3 mahina bhi kuch nahi padhna result tak it's okay once you get into a job it will really become difficult to clear more and more exams if you are not able to manage a 5 hour or a 6 hour college with your studies then how will you manage 12 hours of work with your uh, studies 
So the giving paper clearance rate and the paper giving rate becomes slow once you get into a job. Okay, but studies wise it is not that difficult. Okay, so mutually exclusive and exhaustive. So PA plus PB is one. <coughs> okay. Okay. So probability A complement is one minus PA. Okay, so now put the heading random variable. Make a separate copy for CS1 notes. Whatever I am teaching in class, that should be separate. And homework, wherever you want to do, you can do. But for class, make the notes properly. Random variable. Write down. It is a rule. Be fast. It is a rule to associate numbers. It is a rule to associate numbers with each element of the sample space. It is a rule to associate numbers with each element of the sample space. It is a rule to associate numbers with each element of the sample space. It is a rule. To associate numbers with each element of the sample space. One more definition. Next line. It takes the help of probabilities. It takes the help of probabilities to decide upon its value. It takes the help of probabilities to decide upon its value. It takes the help of probabilities to decide upon its value. It takes the help of probabilities to decide upon its value. Okay, so now notation. Capital X is equal to small x. Basically, capital X is the random variable which will be taking small x values. Okay, now if you see random variable is of two types. We need arrows. discrete continuous okay so now in the ac panel in the ac panel of your room you see there is some temperature written okay so the room temperature is something which is different so let's say suppose in the AC panel it is written 22. But is the room temperature 22? It might be 22.2. It might be 21 point something. It might be 22.5. Okay. So in discrete, we measure point wise. So how to identify whether the random variable is discrete or continuous? The range is the identification. So if you see the range is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is discrete. If you see the range is 1 to 5, it is continuous. So, For example, in discrete, x will take the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But in continuous, it will be like this. x takes the value 1 to 6. So the room temperature actually, it can range from 18 to 30. But in the AC panel, if you see, it is 18, then it is 19. So the temperature which is written on the AC panel is discrete, but the room temperature is continuous. Clear? Okay. Here it is point wise. Here it is interval wise. Wait. Wait. Are bhajan, bhajan. So weight is what? Continuous. It doesn't happen. Na? You have a packet of fries and your weight just goes from 85 to 86. No. 85. Fries 85.1. Gym 
chips 85.2 and after a week you see it is 85 only so so weight is what continuous okay so how to measure total probability how to measure total probability here we use summation wait ruko summation so probability x is taking the value 0 probability x is taking the value 1 probability x is taking the value 2 if we sum all we get the total probability so in discrete we will we'll be using summation but in continuous we will be using integration because integration is nothing but it is a continuous summation summing over the range 1 to 5 this means what we are summing over all the possible values you know what is uh, dx means dx means what a very small change in x okay when we use integration dx this means what we are summing over all the small changes of x from maybe 0 to 5 or something like that so integration is continuous summation so whenever we will calculate total probability in discrete random variable we are going to use summation and in continuous random variable integration please copy Next, put the heading discrete random variable. PDF, write the full form probability distribution function. So, notation is probability capital X is equal to small x which is equal to f x which is equal to f x x please write it properly this is what this is what capital x which is the random variable and this is what small x it is the dummy variable okay small f means pdf capital f means cdf okay cdf full form is cumulative distribution function don't write it now we'll do it later So now, example, tossing two coins, so the sample space is what, head head, head tail, tail head, tail tail, this is the sample space, okay. Now, let us define the random variable to be number of heads. So it will be 0, 1, and 2. And then we can make a PDF, which is the probability distribution function. Okay. Please copy it down. Okay, so now we can say probability x is equal to 0 which is f0 which is equal to fx0 which is what 1 by 4. Sanchi Gupta probability x is equal to 1 f1 which is fx1 
वन बाय एंड देन प्रोबेबिलिटी एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एफ टू एफ एक्स टू इज वॉट वन बाय फोर क्लियर एवरी वन येस ऑन नो इसके बाद write down conditions for a valid pdf yes x is in subscript yes harsh nanoli yes so conditions for a valid pdf First is f x should be greater than equal to zero for all x. Why? Why? Can probability be negative? The answer is no. Okay. And the second one is summation of f x over the range of x should be equal to one because total probability cannot exceed one. So if these two conditions are satisfied, then we'll say that the PDF is a valid PDF. Okay. Now I'm giving you some examples. I'm giving you some examples. Now example one. F x is equal to x minus two by five. X is taking the value one, two, three, four, five. So just start by putting the value. When you put one, f x is taking a negative value so it is not a valid pdf Next is f x is equal to one by four. X is taking the value one, two, three, four. Vishesh, yes. How to solve? Tell me, this is a valid PDF or not? Valid. Why? F x is constant. So if you put x is one, then also it is one by four. If you put x is two, then also it is One by four. So, and if we sum all the four, we'll get one by four, one by four, one by four, one by four, and the total probability is one. These two conditions should be satisfied. It is and. Math exam me dimag laya kya jana ganda ganda. Sir bolle the two hai re. Ek hi laga hai to. And hai. Matlab both the conditions should be satisfied. Okay. This is a valid PDF. Example three. F x is x square by thirty. X is one, two, three, four. Now tell me. Put it. F one is what? One by thirty. F two is what? Four by thirty, and so on. F three is what? Tell me. And f four is what? Sixteen by thirty. So sixteen nine four one is what? Valid PDF. Next, write down. Revision of APGP. Revision of APGP.
रिविजन ऑफ एपीजीपी तो ऑल ऑफ यू विल पार्टिसिपेट तो एपी मीन्स वॉट टू फोर सिक्स एट टेन द नंबर आर इंक्रीजिंग और डिक्रीजिंग बाय अ कॉन्स्टेंट अमाउंट अमाउंट ओके तो हाउ आर द फॉर्मुलाज एन एट टर्म फॉर्मुला इज वॉट ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी बाई डी इज द कॉमन डिफरेंस एन इज नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स एन ए इज द फर्स्ट टर्म तो वट इज द फॉर्मुला फॉर एस एन एन बाई टू a plus l where l is the last term or n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d okay please copy it down sum of the squares of the first eh, sorry sum of first and natural numbers sum of first and natural numbers x yes what is the name red t-shirt yes what is the name Once bed, yes. Tell me. Sum of first and natural numbers. Very good, excellent. N into n plus one by two. One square plus two square plus three square plus dot 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 plus n square. N into n plus one. 2n plus 1 by 6. Some of the cubes. Yes, Vidhi Luharu ka. Yes, some of the cubes. Extraordinary, brilliant. N into n plus 1 by 2. Tum logo sab aata hai. Ab ruko. Once is it okay? You are new to APGP. Then Simar Jodh Singh, yes, the moustache is perfect. This is about AP. Now next, copied. हो गया. Next is GP. So how are the numbers A, AR, AR square dot dot A R to the power. So what is the nth term? A R to the power, yes or no? Yes or no? All of you, please switch on your cameras fast. Jinisha, Navneet, Rishi, Prerna, Komal, Sakshi, Suket, Pratham, Yashvi, Gautam, Achal. S N is what? A R to the power n minus one by R minus one. If R is greater than one, R means what? Common ratio. How to calculate R? B by A, C by B, or anything like that. Okay. And it is A one minus R to the power n by one minus R. If R is less than one, and one is infinite GP formula. A by, but it is only valid when R lies between minus one and one. Very good. Very, 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 very good. तकलीफ हो रहा है बैठने में गाली दे रहा होगा ना मनी मन बुला लिया है सुबह सुबह क्या बोले कब बोलेगा
तो कोई बोला ना बोला अगला क्लास से नहीं आएंगे क्या ये बोला ना एस इन्फिनिटी एस इन्फिनिटी प्लीज सी द रेंज माइनस वन टू वन ओके इफ एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स बाय के के प्लस वन एंड एक्स रेंज इज वन टू थ्री डॉट 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 अप टू के Is it a valid PDF or not? You all need to find out. Please solve it. So, summation of f x one to k, x runs from one to k, so it will be two k k plus one, one plus two plus three plus dot 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 up to k. Yes or no? Into sum of first k natural numbers, sum of first k natural numbers k k plus one by two. So it is one. Total probability is one. So therefore, it is a valid PDF. Sir, can we not assume k as any number and then prove no? Why will you assume k as any number? Next, write down. Calculate the value of c. Calculate the value of c. So. <coughs> f x is equal to c x and the range for x is 1 2 3 4 5 so assuming it is a valid pdf calculate the value for c so how will you do that summation of f x x runs from 1 to 5 okay should be equal to 1 if it is a valid pdf then summation of f x should be equal to 1 Okay, now c is common. One plus two plus three plus four plus five is equal to what? One. So c is what? What is the sum? So c is what? One by fifteen. C is what one by fifteen. Okay. Is it okay? Hmm. Next. Now you all do. f x is c 5 by x so basically this is 5 c by x this is 5 c by x okay and the range for x is 1 2 3 4 5 5 please solve please solve this ha huh, valid
जुडीन इज देयर इन क्लास प्लीज सॉल्व once money is in then it's your problem i i don't like being fake <coughs> summation fx x runs from 1 to 5 5c 
वन प्लस हाफ प्लस वन बाय थ्री प्लस वन बाय फोर प्लस वन बाय फाइव वॉट इज द आंसर ट्वेल्व बाय वन थर्टी सेवन नेक्स्ट सम क्या बोला पकार है नेक्स्ट सम एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू सी वन बाय फोर होल टू दी पावर एक्स एक्स रन्स फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री डॉट 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 अप टू इन्फिनिटी प्लीज सॉल्व एंड द स्टूडेंट दो ऑलरेडी डन इट दे विल सॉल्व इट अगेन समेशन एफ एक्स x runs from 1 to infinity c 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 square plus dot 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 up to infinity so 1 by 4 lies between minus 1 and 1 so c a by 1 minus r okay komal what is the answer can you tell c okay very good ओके प्लीज राइट डाउन सी डी एफ क्यूमुलेटिव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन सो जस्ट होल्ड ऑन फॉर अ मिनिट वाइल टीचिंग प्रोबेबिलिटी पी डी एफ सो दिस वॉज probability at a particular point please write it down so this is probability up to point x probability up to point x ओके तो द नोटेशन इज एफ एक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्रोबेबिलिटी कैपिटल एक्स इज लेस देन इक्वल टू स्मॉल एक्स ओके तो फॉर अवर डाई एग्जाम्पल हाउ वी विल मेक द सी डी एफ तो एफ एक्स is equal to if x is less than 0 then it is 0 as soon as mere to dekho mere to dekho as soon as it touches 0 but it is less than 1 then it takes the value 1 by 4 as soon as it touches the value 1 but it is less than 2 the probability will become 3 by 4 because it is total cumulative probability and when it touches 2 and it is greater than 2 then it will be 1 please copy this down probability up to point x us point tak ka probability if we want to go from pdf to cdf then we will add and if we want to go from cdf to pdf then we will subtract okay please write down a note
whenever we are given cdf whenever we are given cdf whenever we are given cdf and we are asked whenever we are given cdf and we are asked to calculate probability whenever we are given cdf and we are asked to calculate probability we will always convert it to a pdf we will always convert it to a pdf and then we will calculate the probability <clears throat> whenever we are given cdf and we are asked to calculate probability we will always convert it to a pdf uh, we will always convert it to a pdf and then we will calculate the probability so basically this means what whenever you are asked to calculate the probability and you are given a cumulative distribution function you will first convert the cdf to a probability distribution function and then you will calculate the probability okay we will first convert a cdf to what pdf okay and then we will calculate the probability okay so first we will convert the cdf to pdf by subtracting the probabilities that i will show you how to do and then you will calculate the probability okay <coughs> next conditions for a valid conditions CDF FX should be greater than equal to zero. FX should be an increasing function of x fx infinity should be equal to 1 so basically the last value should always be equal to 1 Example So let's say suppose it is given like this F zero is zero point two F one is zero point five F two is zero point eight and F three is one point two. So is it a valid PDF or not? No, because it has crossed 1. So, this is not a valid PDF. Next, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, eh, sorry, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 1. No, why? Fx should be an increasing function of x. This means what? As x increases, the value of fx should also increase. But here, if you see, the value of x has increased from 1 to 2, but the value of fx has de decreased. Okay. fx ka value gir gaya. So, ye valid PDF nahi hoga. Okay. So, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8 and 1. So, this is a valid PDF because fx is greater than or equal to 0. And also, fx is an increasing function of x. As x increases, fx is also increasing and the total probability is equal to 1. Clear?
this note is very important that like see what will happen is now if you see for x greater than equal to 2 okay for x greater than equal to 2 your cdf is 1 like now if i ask you from just this scenario that what is probability x is greater than equal to 2 so you might say me that sir the answer will be 1 but it is a wrong answer so cdf values are always deceptive in our die example if you see what was probability x is equal to 2 it is 1 by 4 so probability x is greater than equal to 2 will be what 1 by 4 but if you they will always give you cdf only but first we will convert it to a probability distribution function and then from pdf we will calculate those probabilities so we will never get a wrong answer okay this is basically in the range x is greater than equal to 2 we will get the value of cdf to be 1 okay okay next graphs this is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 So at 0 the probability is 1 by 4, at 1 the probability is 2 by 4 and at 2 the probability is 1 by 4. Clear? So this is the graph of a PDF. Point wise, there is probability at 0, 1 and 2 except that all other points are 0. Okay. So here we are measuring probability capital X is equal to small x and here we are measuring x. Again, if you see, in case of a CDF, so it is 1 by 4, 3 by 4, 1. Probability capital X is less than or equal to small x, 0, 1 and 2. So in 0, it will take the probability 1 by 4 and then it will go then at 1 it will take the probability 3 by 4 then it will go till 2 and at 2 it is going to take the probability 1 one question Please answer. What is the probability of getting five or less heads if three coins are tossed? One. So what is the probability of five or less heads? It is a sure event, na? Either you will get zero heads or one head or two head or three head. Okay, so it is like that. Done. Hmm? Next question. We are given CDF. Capital F means CDF, okay? 0 when x is less than 1. 1 by 3. Half.
फाइव बाय सिक्स वन okay so you are given cdf so now i'll teach you how to convert a cdf to a pdf so first thing is you need to identify the points where there is probability it is 1 4 6 and 10 because by touching these points the probability has gone up okay so the first probability will be probability x is equal to 1 which is what 1 by 3 The next probability will be probability x is equal to four, which is what? Which is what? Tell me. Half minus one by three. The next probability will be probability x is equal to six, which is what? Five by six minus half. And the next probability is at ten, which is what? One minus five by six. So please calculate. This is what one by six. This is what one by three. This is what one by six. And for your kind knowledge, one by three is greater than one by six. Okay. So when you draw the graph, one by three will be longer, and one by six will be shorter. Okay. Now calculate the probabilities. I am giving you all. Probability. Please solve.
को नहीं दलो दो तो हमको दो निकाल देंगे बिकला से तो आई लव यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बैक यस फर्स्ट आंसर ग्रेटर देन टू बट लेस देन इक्वल टू सिक्स तो ग्रेटर देन टू बट लेस देन इक्वल टू सिक्स वन बाय सिक्स प्लस वन बाय थ्री ओके तो द आंसर इज वन बाय टू इक्वल टू फोर वी ऑलरेडी नो वन बाय सिक्स देन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टेन इज वॉट वन बाय सिक्स ग्रेटर देन फोर इज वॉट वन बाय थ्री प्लस वन बाय सिक्स हाफ ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू फोर इज वॉट वन बाय सिक्स प्लस वन बाय थ्री प्लस वन बाय सिक्स इज वॉट टू बाय थ्री डन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन तुम लोगों को क्या लगा इंट्रोडक्टरी क्लास है छोड़ देंगे पूरा फॉर्म में एकदम तुम तो हमको बोला है ना चार्ट रहा अभी तुम देख जीरो एक्स इज लेस देन माइनस वन वन बाय फोर माइनस वन एक्स वन हाफ यस श्योर सो इट इज ग्रेटर देन टू एंड लेस देन इक्वल टू सिक्स राइट सो ग्रेटर देन टू मीन्स वॉट फोर सिक्स एंड टेन बट इट इज लेस देन इक्वल टू सिक्स सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी आर एक्सक्लूडिंग टेन एंड वन सो वी आर टेकिंग फोर एंड सिक्स ओके वन बाय टू थ्री बाय फोर तो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू कन्वर्ट दिस टू अ पी डी एफ तो हाउ विल कन्वर्ट दिस टू अ पी डी एफ फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई द पॉइंट माइनस वन वन थ्री एंड फाइव एंड आई होप सो यू मस्ट हैव गॉट द प्रोबेबिलिटीज ऑल्सो वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर इट्स वेरी सिंपल सो लेट्स ड्रॉ प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन एक्स प्रोबेबिलिटी कैपिटल एक्स इज स्मॉल एक्स माइनस वन वन थ्री फाइव सो इट इज वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर ओके All of you, please switch on your cameras fast. Now we'll calculate the probabilities. First, copy this down. Okay. So first, we have identified the points. कि किस किस point पे probability है. Then minus one. How we'll do? One by four minus zero. Then one. We'll calculate half minus one by four. Then three. 3 by 4 minus half, then 5. 1 minus 3 by 4. So all the probabilities are coming to be 1 by 4. Is it clear, Rishi Singh? Okay. So now, probability x is less than equal to 3. probability x is equal to 3 probability x is less than 3 probability x is greater than equal to 1 probability minus 0.4 x 4 
probability x is equal to 5. Probability 3 x 5. Probability You need to draw the graphs also. Okay. Start doing.
ओके तो प्रोबेबिलिटी एक्स इज लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री प्लीज टाइप योर आंसर्स इन द चैट बॉक्स आई वॉन्ट टू सी येस वी ऑलरेडी हैव सम आंसर्स येस एक्स इज लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री इसी क्या वहां से देखो बटन हो गए एक्स इज लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री इज वॉट थ्री बाई फोर इक्वल टू थ्री लेस देन थ्री लेस देन थ्री टू बाई फोर माइनस वन एंड वन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन वन थ्री एंड फाइव थ्री बाई फोर माइनस पॉइंट फोर टू फोर वन थ्री एंड फाइव नो वन एंड थ्री लेस देन फोर हाफ इक्वल टू फाइव दिस इज जीरो दिस इज वॉट वन बाय फोर एंड द लास्ट वन इज वॉट टू बाय फोर नाउ ग्राफ तो इन द ग्राफ ऑफ पी डी एफ वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम माइनस वन वन थ्री एंड फाइव इफ दिस इज वन बाय फोर देन ऑल विल बी ऑफ द सेम हाइट येस और नो येस और नो This is minus one. This is one. This is three. This is five. So in this go like this. This is what one by four. This is two by four. By four. This is what. Okay. Clear everyone? Okay. Next. Okay. Moderator, देख लेने दो यहाँ पर. समझ तुम लोग फैन चलाओ एसी बंद करो यही सब तुम लोग का भी चलेगा ओके सो नाउ वंस मोर वी लुक एट द ग्राफ ऑफ सी डी एफ तो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ माइनस वन एज एन सून वी टच माइनस वन इट टेक्स द वैल्यू वन बाय फोर यस वन अभी Too early for paper B. Minus one. As in soon we touch minus one, it takes the height one by four. Then as in soon we touch one again, it is adding a height of one by four. So the total height becomes two by four. Then we touch three. The total height becomes. Three by four, and when we touch five, the total height becomes one, and then it is constant at one. Jinisha, is it okay? Now she is saying yes, sir. After one more hour, she will say yes, sir. <laughs> Rajesh Mehta. नेक्स्ट सेवेंथ नाउ यू नीड टू काउंट विच वन इज द सेवेंथ वन एट वन वन टू सिक्स सेवन जीरो ग्रेटर देन थ्री बट लेस देन फाइव ओके हाउ इज इट जीरो बिकॉज इट इज नॉट टचिंग थ्री ऑल्सो इट इज नॉट टचिंग फाइव ऑल्सो So greater than three means what? Three point zero 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 one maybe, but less than five means four point nine nine. So in discrete, if we if it touches that point, अगर उसको touch करेगा तो ही then only we'll take the value, or else it is counted as zero. Okay. 
and that is why I have explained in the numbers 8 and 9th. So once it is touching 3, then we are getting the value 1 by 4 and when it touches 5 also 2 by 4. Okay. Had it been continuous, then greater and greater than equal to doesn't make any difference. But in discrete, greater than 2 means what? Greater than equal to 3. Okay. Next, continuous random variable. I am going to say, when will it leave? I Continuous random variable. Continuous random variable CRV. So, first probability density function. Probability in discrete we call distribution. And in continuous, we called it density, probability density function. Next, conditions. Conditions. Hey, this is a looker. Panika bottle, there's no class. अनिल का बोतल दे दी दोनों क्लास में बच्चा लोग को बच्चा लोग को दे दीजिए दोनों क्लास में और और लेके आइए पानी का बोतल fx greater than equal to zero now we'll use summation or integration integration over the range of x fx dx is equal to what one now it is continuous random variable okay please write a note probability not defined at a particular point Okay, now you need to tell whether these are valid PDF or not. Number one, fx is equal to 6x1 minus x. Now look at the range of x. Has it changed? Yes, now we are doing interval wise so how to identify whether it is a discrete or a continuous random variable by looking at the range so we'll check integration 0 to 1 6x 1 minus x dx if the answer is 1 then it is a valid pdf please check Harsh Goel. So, mock test chalu hua. Valid. Answer kya hai? One. 
So if the answer is one, then it is a valid PDF. Next, f x is equal to two one minus x. Now check, check, check. Come on. Second one is also valid because the answer is one. When we integrate over the whole range, we should get one. Okay. Now third. F x is equal to five e to the power minus five x. X is greater than zero. So integration zero to infinity, five e to the power minus five x dx. So five is common. E to the power minus five x by minus five, zero to infinity. So minus e to the power minus infinity minus e to the power zero. So minus e to the power minus infinity is one by infinity. I uh, sorry. 1 by e to the power infinity, which is 1 by infinity, tending to 0. So 0 minus 1. So we are getting the answer 1. So again, it is a valid PDF. We see how I am. Write down a note. e to the power minus infinity is 1 by e to the power infinity is tending to 1 by infinity tends to 0 next now fx is equal to 9x e to the power minus 3x x is greater than 0 so now we'll apply i late rule i late integration 0 to so infinity 9 x e to the power minus 3x dx now solve this u integration v dx Minus integration d d x of u into integration v d x whole d x. क्या 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 क्या? Problem होता है ना? I late. So listen to me. A is what? <laughs> Algebra. And E is what? Exponential. So x is what? Algebra and e is what exponential. So u will be what x and e will be what v. Okay, solve. Chalo, chalo. Nine x e to the power minus three x by minus three minus integration e to the power minus three x by minus three dx. You know, say infinity. Paro.
ए एक मिनट पुट पुट इन्फिनिटी हियर जीरो पुट इन्फिनिटी हियर अगेन जीरो पुट जीरो हियर जीरो पुट जीरो हियर एनीथिंग टू दार जीरो इज वन so there will be a minus sign outside and this minus so minus minus plus so we are getting now please put the heading gamma integration so integration 0 se infinity x to the power alpha minus 1 e to the power minus lambda x dx is equal to gamma alpha by lambda to the power alpha is alpha minus 1 factorial by lambda to the power alpha so it is very very important So we'll again use the results. I'm giving you all an example. So f x is equal to thirty two x square e to the power minus four x. X is greater than zero. So integration zero to infinity thirty two x square e to the power minus four x dx. So this is equal to thirty two will move out zero to infinity. X to the power alpha minus one means three minus one e to the power minus lambda. You all didn't observe e to the power minus lambda x dx. So here alpha is what three, lambda is what four. So this will be what. Thirty two. What? Thirty two. Gamma three by four cube. Gamma three is what? Three minus one factorial, which is two factorial. Two factorial is what? Two into one. So thirty two into two. The answer is one. Valid PDF. <laughs> you need to just apply gamma integration here okay so you will do alpha so alpha minus 1 so alpha minus 1 means what 3 minus 1 so alpha will be 3 and lambda so lambda will be 4 and now you have first calculated the value of alpha and lambda and then you are just putting it 32 was outside so alpha is 3 means what gamma 3 and gamma 3 means what 2 factorial gamma alpha is what ek kam ka factorial so alpha minus 1 factorial and lambda to the power alpha so lambda to the power alpha means what 4 cube Okay, so if you calculate, you will get the answer. But 
keep this in mind that the range will be x is greater than 0 means 0 to infinity only we will be able to apply gamma integration students the mistake to a mistake common mistake is in the range of 0 to 1 also they apply gamma integration okay but it will always be 0 to infinity Thirty two into three gamma, which is two factorial. Three gamma is two factorial, which is two. Okay. Okay. That's it for today. Thank you. Next class on Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thank you all of you. Please revise the topics and then we'll meet on Thursday.